and I think there's no time Love for that. Okay, semi-final number two. Will we get an all-English final, or will it be England-China in the final? Over to Colin Wilson and Tony West. Thank you very much, Tony. Chris Doran, can he make it an all-English final? <laughs> Absolute cry from the crowd one. after one point. A serve, a slow ball, ball goes, dribbles into the net, and the crowd go wild. That's how much they want Chris to get through this one. And I think this is the biggest test of all time for Chris Doran. Four Two. times a losing for the yeah. finalist, twice a semi finalist. Today is the third time he's been to the semis. Can he go one further and get into the final to play Andrew Bagley, who he's beaten before? Tony West with me in the commentary box. This is the big one for Chris Doran, isn't it? The coming one. of age. Yeah, absolutely. He's got another chance at it. He's such a good player. He'll keep earning those chances, but he's got to take one at some stage. Let's hope this can be it from an English point of view. Yeah, this is not going to be at all easy. He's got to overcome the mighty Chinese player Wang Shibo, current champion. If anyone can do it, Chris Doran can do it. Let's see if his touch and his power will combine Three, two. and hold together to overcome the Chinese onslaught. Wang, so consistent, we know. Very, very few unforced errors from the Chinese player. So Chris is going to have to work really hard. He tried to send in the wrong two, way, and Wang four. absolutely read it. That looks dangerous for Chris. Yeah, he's uh, so quick on his feet, so solid, never moves away from the table, and he's, he, he's so quick off the mark. He covered that brilliantly, Wang. Go on! <laughs> good Three, big, good boy there. Four. Straight winning the point, straight from the serve. Big determination and passion. <laughs> Top edge, wasn't happy with the Five, bounce of the ball there. Surprised Three. him a little bit. Didn't quite hit the sweet spot. Ball shot off the top edge of his bat. Miles off the table. 5 3 to Wang and serving. You can see the Super League mark on, the, uh, on Wang's shirt. There's a Chinese Super League for ping pong now. Wang plays in that. 6 3. Uh, his team got the silver medal in the Chinese Super League last year. Professional League. But this is the pinnacle of sandpaper table tennis. The World Championships of Ping Pong Four, at Alexandra six. Palace, the home of sandpaper world table tennis. So we call it ping pong to distinguish from the, the game played with the rubber elastic bats where they get a lot more spin. These bats, hardly any Five, spin at all. Six. And they have to really work the ball. Very physical. Some longer rallies. A very different style. Very different skill. Chris has made the transition really well. He's already guaranteed £5,000 as a semi Seven, Sorry, $5,000 as a semi-finalist here. He'll double that within 20 minutes if he gets through against Wang Shibo. Yeah, that was a telling point, that one, that Wang won, because Chris got a really huge backhand on, and he's got it. When he does that, he's got to expect it back and be ready for the next shot. He just got caught out there. He wasn't prepared for that to come back. Eight, That's a disappointing one for Chris. A shrug of the shoulders there. I think he guessed too soon. He's got caught out. That was a let. The ball just glancing the top of the net on the way over, so they take it again. Let's serve us. Same as tennis in that regard. And Chris is playing some nice backhands, but they're being read, and in that case, Five, countered by Wang. Nine. Yeah, brilliant for both players. You see this forehand down the line that Wang hits on the next shot. Chris did so well to get it, but the difference there was Wang was ready for it to come back. Yeah, Wang, we think, has got the best recovery of all the players in this championship. You see him Five, very, very rarely out of position. As you say, Tony, Chris got to that fast forehand down the line, but after the big shot, Wang was there to maintain the rally. 10-6.
Good serve that from Chris. Changed it up from his other ones. So fast and wide that serve. Good. Yep, good variation. 10 6 Wang and serving. Slow balls by both players sometimes. 11 Knight finding his feeling for it. Those shots were going on in the quarter final against Liang Shui. tested so far, he's won everything 2-0, beat Anton Anderson, 15-8, 15-5, but now it's deserted him a little bit, this next higher level up. <gasps> oh, yeah. Yeah. 13. It's tough for him, isn't it? He's he's had a great draw. I think he would agree with that. But yep. what that's meant is he's not really had to play against someone at this sort of level. So although it's been good for him in conserving energy, oh, Wang gets everything back. Look at that. Yeah, so he's conserved energy, six. but now he's got to deal with that much coming back at him. Yeah, this Chris. is a big jump up, to be honest, from Anton's play. Oh, Wang, absolutely fantastic shot there with the forehand. And that's it for the first game. 15-6, game wow. to Wang. 15-6, who beats Chris Doran 15-6? Nobody except Wang Shibo, current champion. See, just forcing on that last shot, the side spin onto that backhand. Ken hold style, proving effective. Well, Chris had a disastrous second half to that game, Tony. Yeah, he did, and uh, Wang getting the instructions there, but Dennis will be telling Chris that, you know, he's got to turn that around. Now, we know that playing a pen holder, slicing across the ball is quite awkward, and it has taken players a bit of time to get used to it, but people have come back into it after struggling against it in the first match. So he's not out of it, that's for sure. No, he's not out of it. And for the English fans, we're guaranteed an Englishman in the final, in the top half of the draw. If you missed that one, the last game on, Andrew Bagley beat Chen Xia, number one woman player. 15, not, uh, 15 not on now. Love Another back to the end. This is not the best start. Come on, Chris. You can do it now. Six feet eight inches high. Wang just so consistent. Chris can't get through him. Two love. This is a real worry now. So again, you see how much Chris was having to lift every shot. That backhand from Wang keeping so low. Two, uh, error. One. Yeah, that one a bit too low. Indeed. You can see Chris is perked up a bit there. Sorry. And again. Another little gift in that it hit the top of the net here. That forehand there, just at the top of the net. Put Wang off his stride. He couldn't stop his stroke in time. Makes it tall for Chris. That's a beautiful back end down the line. Two, but like three. you say, Tony, until now, that's been a winner. Now, he's got the chance to use it to follow it up. He's not used for it to, it, for it to come back as solidly as Wang is. Wang pulled, it, pulled that one up off the net. Three, Chris eight. Able to keep it going. And there's your finalist, Andrew Bagley, looking to see what he's going to have to put up with in the final. So Andrew watching intently, actually. He said he might watch a bit of it. He looks pretty intense about what's going on here. Andrew will need to rest as well. Have the energy for the final. Better from Chris. Yeah, he knows that one backhand's not enough. He wants the crowd to, to G him up. But their three good backhands was enough. Gives an idea of what he's got to do and what is enough. Beautiful play from Chris Stern. Yeah, it was interesting that he hit some hard shots into the forehand. The return came back a little bit higher than it does off the backhand, so that might yeah. be something he can, he can keep trying and use. Well, after one kind of unforced error from Wang, one net in Chris's favour to back, get back to two all. He's perked up, and now it's 5-3 to Doran and serving. 
Change of pace again. Five, four. And that's been the uh, the bane of Chris's game so far, Tony. That backhand that he's been lifted it and lifted it off the end of the table several times so far. Yeah, I haven't played against it, but I'm wondering how easy it is to read, whether it's just side spin or whether there's a little bit of backspin on there. So if you get used to lifting it and suddenly the backspin isn't there, it shoots off the end. Yeah. Five and then Chris does get a ball, comes up. He was miles away from the table, had to run in, was very off balance, couldn't quite control it. Brings one back at five all. Chris is looking a little bit, a little bit hot under the collar, to be honest. I hope that physically he's not Let's struggling. Uh, Wang looking very calm and very fit at this stage. Again, the backhand he lifts it and goes off the end of the table. It's so hard lifting a ball without topspin. Usually the topspin gives it an arc and it comes down quickly, but that doesn't happen in this game. No, nope, the sandpaper bats don't produce the topspin. That's better from Chris. Again, the tiniest Five, of margin onto the top seven. of the net. Disconsolate Doran, shoulders hunched, goes to the towel. Regroup mentally and start again. It's 5-3 up now, 5-7 down. <laughs> Big backhand from Chris, that was enough. Chris knows he's got to hit a lot of aggressive balls to win one point. Not Double enough to hit one ball and expect it not to come back. It probably will. He's just got to keep building the pressure until Wang breaks down. This is the double point ball for Chris. Two points for him if he wins this one with his serve. Backhand into the forehand again from Chris. Same again. That time he converts it, puts him back in the lead. Two points to Chris Doran on that power play. Double point ball. Watching coach Andrew, the executive branch. Beautiful fast backhand, good follow up, well done. Puts him into the lead. Here we go again live. Chris had to pick that one up higher. Eight each. Wang pounced on it. Wang is such a cool customer, Tony, isn't he? Yeah, he always looks so composed. He's one of those players that seems to have all the time in the world. Let's serve. Yeah, he describes himself as introverted. But also loves that this, this game is very powerful Eight, and full of antagonism. Nine. So a great warrior, Wang Shibo. So consistent, Eight. not giving Chris any easy balls either. Crowd cheering Chris Doran up. Again, the backhand wide of Wang's oh. forehand. Wang can't make that one. Nine each. A glimmer for Chris Doran. Yeah, absolutely. Still in this, nine all. Look what he does here. Good switch again, then back to the other side, then moves again. So can you side to side play in that point? Huh? We saw Liang have some success with that for a while against Wang. Yeah, he did take in the first game against Wang. So we know he is, we know he is beatable. 10-9. Nothing much in it. Chris just taking a quick look at the score out of the corner of his eye. Forehand. Pendulum serve from Wang, cutting across the ball. Oh, that's the Doran. He's set him the wrong way that time. That's a tremendous shot. And once again, the way that players like Chris are able to be defending their look and then suddenly produce that power backhand down the line. Pulled it out from nowhere. Wang didn't see that one at all. Ten all. Great return of serve from Chris Doran. And he's pinned him down. He's putting it in very awkward places 11, now. Doran's 10. vision and his anticipation's improved. Giving Wang something to think about. 
Yeah, you're absolutely right about putting it in an awkward place there. You see, he was very deliberate with that forehand. There was no backswing. He just made sure he put it exactly where he wanted to. It was a fantastic return of serve. Now Chris serving. Oh, goes to the forehand down the line nearly. Ooh. He knew that was a winner if Chris had got that on. Who's from both players. Rueful smile from Chris. Fast Dorham serve. Nice backhand. Wang in control. Up to the table. Great recovery from Wang. Chris will struggle to get that one. Wang placed that one right into the crossover to, to finish that point. Chris couldn't play either a backhand or a forehand. He stuffed it underneath the playing shoulder. Very smart. Wang. Double point ball for Wang. Well, a tight game, but this, if it goes Wang's way, will give him match point. Chris looks at the scoreboard. He knows it too. Critical one to win against the serve. Lovely short return again. The, the backhand lift just lets him down. Three match points to Wang. Will it be Wang to play Bagley in the final? Or can Chris Doran rescue it? And play as countryman. Yeah, come on, Chris, keep fighting. He's saying the ball moves around a lot, and it does off that side spinny shots that uh, Wang plays. Doran needs these four points. Can't make it. 15, 11, so in the end, 15, 11. Wang Shibo, so consistent. He soaked up a lot of pressure. Doran nearly got to him in the end. But it's going to be Wang Shibo in the final for the second year running. And he's playing twice world champion Andrew Bagley, Milton Keynes in England. At match point, Chris goes for the back end, just misses. 15, 11, Nothing he can do. Wang, a bit of a celebration. 15, 11, and he's in the big money. 20,000 for the winner. 10,000 guaranteed for Wang Shibo. Well done, Chris. You played a great tournament, but Wang Shibo takes it, and we look forward to a wonderful.